Hello guys, this is Mauro from PrimoInfoTech.com and on this video we'll look at the new features and changes included on the Windows 10 build 16.226. This new test version of Windows 10 is part of the fall creators update which is expected to release later this year. So let's have a closer look at the most worthy changes in this build. In the start menu, the acrylic element which is part of the uh, Microsoft Fluent Design System is now a little more transparent as you can see right there and the same adjustment uh, will be found in the uh, action center as you can see it's a little more transparent and action center now also includes uh, the new scroll bar that hides and shows more easily than before and on the task bar now when you right click the uh, network icon when you click the uh, open network and internet settings it will open uh, the networking settings on the settings app instead of control panel as you can see right there you can also now right click the uh, taskbar and enable and disable uh, the my people feature with this new option show my people button as you can see right now it's showing so I can just right click the taskbar and click that option and it's gone on a file explorer Windows 10 now is updating the uh, right-click context menu and now it includes a new share option uh, to share a file or a folder and when you click that it will open the uh, new Windows share experience and then you can just simply pick uh, the app or the contact that you want to share uh, the uh, file and you're good to go. In addition to the new share option on the uh, context menu the uh, share with option has been renamed so people don't get confused between the two options and now the uh, share with has been uh, renamed to give access to but nothing else has changed on this option on windows 10 built 16.226 task manager is also getting updated now when you go to the performance tab you also are going to find that task manager can track GPU performance over time. When you go to the processes tab, you will find a new column called GPU engine. And now processes are grouped by app. As you can see, for example, Microsoft Edge, you can expand and you're not only are going to find all the processes corresponding to Microsoft Edge, but now you can also identify each tab. As you can see, I have open Microsoft Edge with these tabs open. I got a search result on Google, a Wikipedia, and the Microsoft Edge Tips tab. As you can see, I'm just going to open really quick Microsoft Edge, and these are the pages that I have open. Related to OneDrive, now when apps try to download files from uh, OneDrive or even another uh, cloud storage provider uh, you will now see a notification with a progress bar uh, with different options I don't have an app that actually uh, triggers that uh, notification but I'm going to show you a screenshot from Microsoft and this is how it looks like and you will you will see that the notification is triggered by the uh, uh, feature on Windows 10 called app requested downloads and with a progress bar of the um, uh, file being downloaded and you also get an option to cancel the download and an option to dismiss the notification. On this pre-release of the fall creators update, Windows 10 enables by default Reveal Highlight. Reveal Highlight is part of the uh, new Fluent Design System and it is a new interaction visualization that helps guide users. Reveal is now enabled by default on list view and other SAML collection controls across the operating system. If you want to uh, give this a pick, uh, you can do that by opening uh, the uh, My People feature and go to Apps. And as you can see right there, I don't know if you can see the effect as I'm moving uh, the mouse cursor on top of uh, an item on the list. And you're also going to find the same uh, effect on the uh, Settings app, but let's just let me go back to the personalization section and 
change the um, theme to dark and now when you hover over items on a list you're going to see uh, the uh, reveal highlight when you moving uh, throughout the items as you can see right there emoji on windows 10 has been updated to version 5.0 and alongside the uh, new emojis that comes with the update uh, you're also getting a few new improvements uh, for example now when you open uh, the uh, emoji panel using the uh, windows key uh, plus semicolon uh, keyboard shortcut uh, you can now uh, continue typing to to make a search uh, for an emoji on windows 10. Uh, for example if i just want to do a uh, search for uh, happy faces I just type happy and as you can see now the uh, emojis get filtered out so I can select the uh, the ones that in this case are happy faces uh, you must click the um, emoji uh, you like or press enter as you finish uh, typing if not uh, the uh, the word that you type will stay and the emoji will not appear so for example if I just close the uh, emoji panel uh, happy will stay there but if I open again emoji and I type happy and I press enter you will see that the uh, emoji will be applied into the uh, uh, text box that you're currently trying to type on uh, emoji now includes uh, an updated um, uh, emoji panel uh, to support the dark theme so when you're switching between the uh, light to dark you will now get the uh, new emoji with the uh, uh, dark theme. Windows 10 build 16.226 is also updating the uh, uh, touch keyboard to support uh, more languages. And you can also copy and paste from the uh, clipboard using the, uh, uh, the touchpad. And you can even use now the uh, shift key uh, to switch between cap states when using lowercase and uppercase. Um, the uh, keyboard actually remains the same, but the, um, uh, the, uh, the, settings, uh, the settings panel has been updated uh, to be easier uh, to use and to access the uh, settings in the uh, settings app. As you can see, you can just click right there and access the uh, uh, settings in the uh, settings app. Also, if you switch the, let me see if I can just do this. If you switch to the smaller keyboard, uh, you now can just click the top and uh, drag it over anywhere you like before uh, you needed to actually click and drag in a, in a specific location. But now whatever part of the uh, uh, top you click, you can actually uh, drag the uh, uh, keyboard around. The uh, handwriting experience has also been updated to support erase words with the uh, back of a pen. And you can use the uh, pen to scroll traditional desktop apps uh, as well as the Windows Store apps. Now let's take a look at the uh, new updated version of Microsoft Edge. On this new version of Edge, uh, now you're going to notice right away that the uh, uh, tab bar has been updated and now includes a new uh, uh, kind of a, a darker grade which also features uh, a gradient uh, color. Uh, you also are going to see that the tab you're currently in it's going to uh, stand up from the rest and the other uh, tabs you will still be able to see it but it's a little more they're a little more transparent. And this new version of Microsoft Edge, we get a new uh, favorite experience. So when you try to uh, bookmark a page, when you click the uh, start button, uh, you will see a new experience on an actual uh, directory tree view, as you can see right here. And I don't know if you also noticed, but we can also see some of the um, uh, fluent design effects that we talked earlier they're here too uh, let me just switch to the uh, darker theme of microsoft edge 
so you can see that uh, better. So let me just try to um, bookmark this page and as you can see the uh, review highlighted right there and even if you try to uh, click it uh, you will see that effect. On this new version of Microsoft Edge let me just see if I can show you the let me just uh, show the uh, favorites bar and let me just bookmark Wikipedia and I'm gonna put in the favorites bar and I'm gonna click add and now you will see this uh, right here on the uh, on the bar and now you can actually right click and edit the uh, uh, the URL for this link it kind of doesn't look right uh, I'm and this uh, computer I'm actually using um, uh, larger DPI which is might be the reason why this is not uh, working uh, correctly but you can actually now um, edit the uh, the link uh, this is not like an exciting feature but it's a feature that should have been included on Microsoft Edge uh, since the uh, beginning for EPUB support on Microsoft Edge now when you select text and right click on it you have two additional options including the ask for Cortana and copy furthermore if you have a device that supports uh, pen input you can also uh, annotate uh, using the um, uh, the pen uh, I don't have um, a pen to show you that feature but that's how it works on Windows 10 build 16 226 and later Starting with the uh, Windows 10 Fall Creator Update, uh, books that you purchase on the Windows Store, they will sync across devices. Uh, even with your uh, reading progress, uh, bookmarks and notes that you added. If you're currently using Google Chrome and you're trying to make Microsoft Edge your default web browser, Edge now will import your settings and cookies during the uh, migration. Last but not least on Microsoft Edge, when you're trying to uh, close a tab, a window or other feature, uh, you are always gonna have the ability to uh, reach the uh, close button, even if a JavaScript uh, dialog is open uh, in the browser. Now let's jump into the uh, settings tab because Bill 16.226 delivers some new features and improvements, including some Microsoft Fluent Design System elements. As I previously showed you, if you switch now to the dark theme, you will now notice some fluent design elements as you hover over elements on a list. And for now, I think that's all the uh, fluent design on the uh, settings tab. Now let's move into the actual new settings and tweaks on this experience. Let's start by going to System. Now you will see, uh, we previously seen that uh, Microsoft is now uh, bringing remote desktop to the, uh, to the settings app. But before it was located at the bottom of the About page and now it's uh, right above it, uh, which makes more sense. And now when we go to uh, Storage, and when we go to uh, storage sense and click the uh, change how we uh, free up space link the uh, page has been updated so instead of uh, toggle switches now you have to uh, use uh, check marks to decide which items you want uh, windows 10 to uh, delete from your computer to free up space in addition to those changes, now we're also going to find uh, new options to uh, delete a uh, previous version of Windows after an upgrade. But you only are going to see this option if a previous version of Windows is available. If not, you're not going to see. Now let's go back and let's get into the uh, gaming section. Here you're going to find a new uh, Xbox networking page uh, that allows you to uh, identify and fix any problems that prevents you for using the uh, uh, video and chatting uh, feature and playing multiplayer games on Xbox Live. As you can see, the uh, page is divided 
in three sections you can see the connection status and you can uh, instead of this uh, section you can see if the xbox xbox live services are up and running and if you're connected to the internet you can also see the um, network performance uh, such as the uh, latency and packet loss and under xbox live multiplayer you can see the uh, uh, settings uh, for the uh, nap type and server connectivity if you have any issues that is related to your computer you can always click the uh, uh, fix it button and you can also click the uh, check again to see if uh, uh, that solves uh, the problem now let's back let's go back to home on issue of access the only change that we're going to find it's going to be on magnifier which now has a new uh, feature called enable bitmap smoothing that this will allow you to see um, the text uh, smoother when you're using the uh, magnifier on privacy now we're going to find a new uh, page called app requested downloads and here you can unlock any uh, application that you blocked when uh, when the app was trying to um, download a file from a cloud service uh, such as OneDrive on update and security now on Windows update uh, you're not going to see any visual changes but if a update fails to uh, install on your computer now you will get a description that it's um, easier to understand and you will get a um, error code that you can actually select and copy so you can uh, open your um, default web browser and do a search to find a solution uh, for that problem also when we go to the uh, backup page uh, now we're able to use file history again and the uh, previous bill um, Microsoft only allowed us to uh, recover files using the uh, file history but now the option to use uh, file history is back and that's pretty much all that's new on the uh, settings app and on the Windows 10 build 16 to uh, 26 uh, remember to leave your comments and like the video and share it and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet and I just hope this video was informative for you and I do thank you for viewing